Welcome to 5 Minutes in the Word, a daily devotional in the Word of God. So Logan, when we talk about uh, elders, you know, of course we talk about honoring elders and, and honoring people that that are, you know, ruling over us and things. And I think in, in previous, uh, you know, lessons we've talked about how, the, you know, that really that elders are deserving of double honor and how mm -hmm. that's really it's double pay, you know, that, you know, elders really have a, a, a important job to do both as an elder. Uh, there are some elders that are also ministers too. And so, yeah. you know, there's just a lot that goes into that. When we pick up there and starting in verse 21, um, we're getting some more uh, kind of instructions kind of coming off this subject of, of elders and really kind of just transit kind of transitioning. And some of these things really apply to, to more than just elders too. Some mm -hmm. of these things we're getting, we're getting ready to. So what, what's, what's coming up here in verse 21 and following? Uh, verse 21, uh, it says, if I can find it here, in, in the presence of God and of Christ Jesus and the elect angels, I charge you to keep these rules without prejudging doing nothing from partiality. And, of course, we, we've already set the stage that Paul's talking to Timothy here, and Timothy's kind of right. like uh, on his own here when he's talking about ministry, and Paul's just sending these things as a reminder. Uh, but one thing that uh, Paul and Timothy both had to deal with was false teachers. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think to me, uh, kind of looking at the book of Jude as well, uh, false teachers, uh, they showed partiality. They showed oh, definitely. Uh, partiality to, to different things that really fit them, that fit mm -hmm. the, the, the message that they were speaking. Right. Um, and Tim, or Timothy, in the position that he was in, he couldn't do it. No. Because, uh, one, that, that would make him comparable to a false teacher, but, two, that would kind of defeat the purpose of what he was trying to do <laughs> right. uh, as well. Uh, and I guess for us today, as a modern ap application, James chapter 1 uh, is... A Christian's charge, mm -hmm. uh, James chapter one and or James chapter two and verse one says, right. "My brothers, show no partiality as you hold the faith or hold the faith in our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord of glory." Uh, and that phrase to me, I think, uh, "show no partiality" is predetermined. Mm -hmm. uh, like I'm going to favor one over the other, right. uh, and that's one thing that uh, Christians really have a charge to do is. Uh, Show no partiality, just like how God shows no partiality when uh, he made us. Oh, absolutely. And I think a lot of that plays into, you know, the, this conversation that talks about elders and talks about, you know, what they're deserving honor. But then it also talks about, you know, bringing accusations against mm -hmm. them. You know, an, an elder is, they're a Christian. Uh, yes, they're an elder, so they're, list, they're lifted <laughs> up yeah. the, to be leaders in the congregation, absolutely. But they are a Christian, uh, okay? And so we don't need to necessarily show, even show partiality in, well, we're going to let them off the hook because they're, they're, they're the leadership or anything yeah, like that. An and okay. and so, so we, we, can't, we can't do that. We have to make sure that in all things that we uh, are consistent. That's with mm -hmm. our brethren. That's with the elders. That's, that's with other people. As we keep moving forward in verse 22, it says, Do not lay hands on anyone hastily, nor, sh uh, nor share in other people's sins. Keep yourself pure. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when we see others sin, we, we decide or, or perceive we think, think that people are in sin. We jump to the conclusions. We jump yeah. out and we, we lash out. We act hastily. Sometimes that's towards leadership like elders. Sometimes it's just towards uh, just uh, uh, just another member here in the congregation. Yeah. I'm a member of the Lord's Church. And, you know, it says do not lay hands with anyone hastily. I think that would apply to elders. Yes, don't be hasty in, the, in, in what you're going to uh, bring uh, in charge towards an elder. Don't be hasty yeah. in how you're going to act towards them. Don't be hasty towards other people as well, mm -hmm. um, nor share in other people's sins. I think that kind of plays back a little bit to that to this idea of partiality because some yeah. people – Say well, you know, my friend's sinning, you know, I'm gonna let him slide, and you know, uh, he Does it mean it, it could it, be a family member. Could be a family member. That's my yeah, brother. That's, that's my brother. brother. That's my father. Yeah. Yeah, and that could that could lead them into temptation too. And, and they said, well, if they can do it, I can do it. And, and and now, not only am I covering for their sin, I might even be, I might even go as far as participating in, in the same type of sin. Yeah. And so there really can be a lot of destruction. Uh, that uh, that comes from this. Like we make sure that our purity as an individual Christian should always remain number one. Absolutely, it says literally uh, into that verse. Keep yourself pure, um, and then moving on in verses twenty three and following, it says no longer drink only water, but use a little wine for your stomach's sake and, and, and your frequent infirmities. You know, here he's just giving instructions about you know how to take care of yourself uh, yeah. uh, in, in a medicinal kind of way. I think it was. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go, no, sorry, <laughs> I think go ahead. it was funny. Uh, like this could have been like just because in ESV it's in it's in uh, parentheses here. It could have been Paul 
had been had one of them. Uh, oh yeah, don't forget this kind of moments. Yeah, I mean, well, he's just he wants you to take care of of himself. He wants to make sure mm. that, that the young man Timothy is well taken care of. Uh, he says, some, and then he goes on. He says, some men's sins are clearly evident, preceding them to judgment. But those of some men fall uh, fall later. Likewise, the good works of some are clearly evident, uh, and those that are otherwise cannot be hidden. So I think we need to understand our sins. Uh, you know, they are seen, even when things that are private. Our good works are also seen too, yeah. even when things they're private. And so you kind of look, look at all of this. We need to live a life that's not full of partiality, that's not uh, that's consistent, that's consistently trying to seek after good, that's not trying to seek after the, those evil things, uh, and that is just taking this wisdom from 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 God, from His Word, and using it in our life.